Hello everyone and welcome back to Tomahawk Toad and today we're gonna do some surgery. We're gonna do the ingrown toe surgery or whatever it was called. It looks really gross though so I'm not really looking forward to it because my stomach really don't like that. Yeah, yeah. but we're just gonna dive right into it so we can get it over with. And hopefully you will love to see Hello, this. Hello and welcome to Hi. Surgery Squad's it looks like a sharp, doesn't it? I'm Dr. Friend. Jeff and Dad. I'll be guiding you through this procedure of today. Of course you're Jeff! He's Jeff. Oh my god, I don't like the edge of the toenail grows down and into the flesh of the toe. Ah uh, yeah, it looks when disgusting. This occurs, yeah, I know many people like don't like redness and I'm one of the them. Toenail. I have some kind of phobia for it. I don't Oh my god, you don't have to zoom in on it. When extra pressure is applied to the toe, yeah, the that's why you need good shoes. Or too loose. Improperly right. trimmed toenails, foot or toe deformities, injuries, yeah. and fungal issues can also be contributing factors. Yeah, you should not eat there that fungus. There are some ways to treat an ingrown toenail at home to relieve some of the pain. Oh come on! Remember that you should I get this weird feeling in my entire body just thinking yourself. about these stuff. You know, it's, if you're uh, a diabetic and have an no, ingrown toenail, luckily. it is recommended that you go to the doctor immediately. Okay then. Now that you understand the causes of an ingrown toenail, let's put on our gloves and remove one. Yes, let's do that. Our oh patient my is ready, God. so let's begin by disinfecting the toe. Do I have to click and drag? Click and drag. Oh, it's super red. The entire toe. Oh my God! It looks like we hit him with a hammer. Or may no, he looks like. It I bet Trump's toes looks like he does, just like this. I bet you. We're gonna disinfect every toe because we can. <gasps> Wait. Perfect! I was trying to make uh, his toes really, you know, red and glittery and it could be like a how to paint your toenails tutorial, but no, no, he ruined now, it. we need to numb the toe with a local anesthetic. Yeah, we'll okay, have to inject the anesthetic oh in several locations around the toe. Several is one toe! Three points, okay, click there, there, oh my god, that hurts. I bet that hurts. Oh, okay then, and there we go! Great. Blood we'll drops. Wait a few minutes for the toe to get numb. Okay. My dad once told me that um, when you're going to the dentist and they have the syringes up your mouth to numb your mouth, that uh, now that our patient's many years toe is back, numb, like 50 years, place a special tourniquet around 40 the toe. years back, I think I said. This will help they reduce use... the amount of blood coming from the wound. Once you've done that, we can move on to removing the internal portion of the toenail. Can you shut up? I'm trying to speak here. Okay, thank you. He he said that they used like uh, uh, frog poison. I I don't know what's called in English. You know the uh, well, there are many poisonous frogs, but they used the, that poison that frogs have. I don't know if it's true though. Uh, but but they um, mixed it with something, so it wasn't concentrated, of course. But but still, that that's sick. I don't know if it's true though. But oh my God, no blood to the toe. First, toe. carefully slide one blade of the nail anvil. Oh the no! Do I have? Oh shit! Do I have to? This looks. Oh my god! We're going to go down the nail until we feel. A oh! Bit of oh no! Our patient's oh, going to feel poor some guy. pressure as we cut away the ingrown nail. Click! Oh my god! Okay. Then. Oh! Did you hear that? Oh! What? Oh no! No! Oh! Oh! That looks disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Holy shit! Okay. Great. Take the forceps and carefully remove the ingrown <laughs> nail. This is disgusting! What? Okay, click. Oh! It's getting kind of messy in there. Let's clean up No that shit! Oh my god, this is. This is. Yeah. See that small bit of pale yellow substance right there? Yeah. It What's... looks like the patient has a bit of infection in the toe. No shit. Firmly squeeze the edge of the toe to get as much of that infection out as you can. What? They can't be serious. Oh my god. Okay. What? Oh. <laughs> it sounds so disgusting. Oh, what are you that even doing? That toe is doing? starting to look much better. No. We're not done yet. It's like Next, half we're toe. Going to apply some phenyl acid <laughs> to the wound. This what? will help ensure that the problem of ingrowth will not reoccur in this toe. What do you tell me to do? When don't. you're done oh. inserting the acid, I'll remove the tourniquet. Oh my god, we'll my toes up. feel so weird right now. You have no idea. I hope you guys suffer with me. 
because this is finished by applying some antibiotic ointment on a sterile gauze pad. Yes, that I can do. That that's the job for me. Place it against the toe and wrap it in a gauze bandage. You can do that shit because I. Uh, he did it. He actually did. It. I didn't even click anything. Fantastic job. Nice. Are we done? Since there was some yeah. obvious infection. Our patient we did will great. be sent home with a prescription for some antibiotics. Yeah, we should we'll have We'll also need to tell our patient to keep the wound dry, clean the wound regularly, and replace the bandage two to three times a day. Two to three times. While our patient's toenail isn't likely to regrow, his condition is likely to return if he doesn't take care of his feet. But this includes wearing proper fitting shoes, yeah, properly trimming his toenails, yes. and keeping his feet clean and dry. And that's okay. how we remove an ingrown toenail. You did a great job today. Thanks. While you're here, try your hand at one of our other surgeries here at oh, surgerysquad.com. Isn't that the thing? This one. Isn't that the help our patient to check our colon cancer? Oh, cancer. I don't want to do cancer. I don't want to do breast cancer. We're going to do one more because this was a really short video. So we're going to do one more. Uh, let's see. What, what are we going to do? We are going to do... We're going to scroll up here. Yes. Press here. Okay. So I found a, a one, I think it's cool. It, it's probably not disgusting at all. Hopefully. But Welcome it looks awesome. Welcome to Surgery Squad's laser tattoo yeah, removal. we're gonna do that. I'm Dr. Susie, and I'll it's, be assisting hey, you with this procedure today. We met her, her before. According to a recent In our poll, last, uh, over 50% of those with tattoos want at least video. one removed. Oh. They cited being too young when they got it, a oh. new career, or significant life changes, such as divorce or childbirth, as reasons why they no longer want them. Luckily, there's laser tattoo removal. That's laser good. tattoo removal is a procedure that uses a powerful laser that reacts yeah. with the ink of a tattoo to break it down into tiny particles. The That's laser awesome. directly targets the tattoo pigment and huh. leaves the surrounding skin virtually untouched. After that, the I didn't ink know. is broken down, it is removed by the body's immune system, creating a natural looking fade that typically only time or sun exposure would produce. Huh. Although laser tattoo removal is considered highly effective after multiple oh, treatments, shit, sorry. those interested need to keep in mind that yellow, green, and fluorescent tattoo inks are much more difficult to fade. Okay. Our patient today is a male in his mid twenties that got a tattoo on his calf when he was a teenager. On his calf? Now that he's what? older, no, he doesn't he see the tattoo as being so attractive anymore. In fact, he's come to us to get it removed. So let's scrub in and see what we can do for it him. It would be funny if he got the tattoo. <laughs> Before we begin, we need to go back in time to the day he picked out his tattoo. Help him pick out a real winner. Oh Use my god, we get to, to choose tattoo rules and bones. Click choose when you have made up your mind. <laughs> nice! No, 99. That's the least side. We're gonna... Oh my god, Princess Beth. Type text here. Can we actually type text there? Oh my god, who can? Horse. <laughs> what? I want to do... I want to do... No. No. <laughs> this one. I'm gonna choose this one. Choose. Yes! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> if you haven't seen that tattoo before, there, that sure is an actual tattoo someone has um, on their body. What is that? I Let's think make that tattoo disappear. Lion, During our remember. patient's initial consultation, it was recommended that he corrected. take a non-aspirin pain medication prior to the procedure okay, to reduce then. any discomfort he may experience. Other than that, there really now isn't any needs other to take preparation a shit ton needed. Of aspirin. So let's get started. At least, at least if it's like a lot of patients aspirin, describe like the pain from the laser as feeling like a hundred rubber bands striking the skin at the same time. So to begin the procedure, Pain? we'll need to place a cold compress oh. on the tattoo for a few seconds. This can be fun. This will help reduce the pain yes. caused by the laser. Yeah, but Go I don't ahead care. And place the cold compress. I don't want to. Tattoo. I want him to feel pain. I think I have to. Unfortunate. Non-toxic. That will do. Something. Now we need to use the laser to fade the tattoo. Okay. Different that's types good. of lasers. It has green in it. It takes longer time. It has green One in it. One laser might work perfectly for reds and oranges but not so great on greens or black. See? So we'll use a variety of lasers to get the desired result. To help relieve some of the pain associated with the procedure, we'll I also use a machine yet. that blows icy cold air on the area ah. being treated. Oh, Let's cool. start by targeting any this red or how orange areas. Would be. Click and drag to remove. We, oh, do, dope, I mean. And 
red one? Yes, the red one. Eee. Sorry for the sound, I don't know why I'm doing that. If we do this <clears throat> for a longer time, will he get burned? I think he will. Doesn't happen, I think. Okay, okay. Next up is green, blue, or other darker colors. Yes. Eee. Is it the black as well? No? No, okay. Why am I doing that sound? I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't even do it on purpose this time. Finally, it, we'll weird. remove the black. Yes, all of it. Yes, all of it. Of course. We're not gonna leave anything on your body. It's gonna be. I understand why you want to remove this tattoo because uh, let's face it, it's uh, it's really ugly, really ugly. So yeah, I want to get it to myself. I actually got uh, two ideas. It's not even ideas, it, well, yes it is, uh, but the things I really want to do, there's uh, two, uh, two I want to do, the first one, uh, I think I want to do my, on my shoulder, because my uh, older brother, he uh, his star sign is uh, cancer, so he got uh, like the big lobster thing on his shoulder, and I wanted to do something that kind of uh, resemblance that, you know, he that he's my brother kind of thing. But uh, I want things, uh, something that is uh, a little bit more, you know, fun and happy. So I wanted to, and uh, Deadpool is my absolute fa favorite character in everything. Uh, I, even before I saw the movie, I, I used to read uh, like the comics and stuff. I, I just love those comics. So I want a Deadpool in kind of a bobblehead uh, style with a, uh, what's it called? Uh, I'm, uh, my star sign is Leo, so it, it with a big uh, lion. What's it called in English? I don't know. But but you know what I mean. So I want Deadpool with a big uh, hairy thing around his head. I don't know the English word for it. And the second uh, thing I, I want is here on my, I don't know if you can see it, but on my arm from like shoulder to my elbow. Uh, I want... Uh, the background is kind of hard to explain, but it's kind of a living... Background with like living patterns. It's it's hard to explain. But, and I want like a peace sign, a heart, uh, a um, so, some kind of note, and uh, a sun like a, like uh, peace, love, music, sunshine. Like that. Come on, that's everything you need in life. If you have th those four, you got everything. You need. Seriously, I know it sounds hippie, but but uh, I think that that's what I think. So now that we've completed the first treatment. We'll need to place the cold compress on the treatment area to relieve some of the pain. Okay then. I thought it took aspirin. I'm not a huge fan you of aspirin. You did great. Our patient is ready yes. to go. That's Immediately everything. after each treatment, the tattoo may feel sunburned, and it is extremely important to keep it covered until it heals. Yeah, if our patient fails to do this, both his recovery and the results of the treatments may be negatively affected. Aww. Roll the bandage over the treated area. That I can do. Dr. Jeff could do it himself. Yes! As stated earlier, our patient's tattoo will only begin to fade after multiple treatments. So he shouldn't yeah. expect the tattoo to go away during one session. No. While the tattoo may not be completely removed, it should be lighter and much less visible than before. Oh, that's good. And that's Great. laser tattoo removal. Woo! Well done! Did it! Why not try your surgical skills in another surgery here on SurgerySquad.com? That I'm going to do for another time because I'm going to look for a really disgusting one. But anyway, guys, this is it for this episode. So sorry if it's a really short episode. But, you know, I got tons of stuff to do today, so I'm sorry. Uh, if you liked, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, leave a sub if you enjoyed. So you would find me much more easy and, uh, you know, click the little bell as well so you know when I'm up uploading. That's awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode.